YouTube or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sheena and today I'm going to start a new series. Um, I really want this series to be like a paint with me series because I'm getting back into my painting era. Over, over, but no, for real though, ever since kind of like last year I've been painting um, and I just want to start painting a lot more this year because it's one of my favorite things to do. It's like one of my hobbies. It's just one of my things where even ever since I was young, I've loved to draw, to paint, to just do arts and crafts, just even write like books. <laughs> like I would like literally write books and stuff and just have little drawings. It was like giving Dr. Seuss. And yeah, like anyways, but now I kind of want to just get back into that that part of myself where I kind of just express and work on that skill of like creativity and stuff. So I'm going to be doing that a lot more this year. And I want to start a series on this channel where I'm just doing like different like painting or it just could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be painting, but more than likely it's going to be paintings. Um, yeah, so I got an idea of what I want to paint today. Um, and I'm gonna put, you know, everything on the screen. I'm gonna let y'all know, but yeah, it's just gonna be a paint with me and chit chat. And yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna start this new series of me doing this because why not? This channel is just me like really, like besides the faith talk, like me talking about the Bible and stuff. Excuse me, I just be really doing whatever. So I don't have a specific like niche, I guess. I just kind of do what I feel like and Everything is still me, you know, I don't want to put myself in a box when it comes to this channel or just in general. So I'm just showcasing like the different parts of me and just the different areas of me, I guess. And this is just like, this channel is just my diary of all of those things. So y'all gonna be seeing like me painting up here. Y'all gonna see me doing vlogs. You're gonna see me doing like clothing hauls, trying on videos. Y'all might see me up here doing collabs like i don't know y'all just gonna see me y'all can see me cooking y'all can see gym videos like it just be a little bit of everything and it's all my life so anyway yeah let's get into it okay y'all so i'm gonna show y'all everything i'm gonna be using in this video ahead of time just so we can get straight into it so these are my paint brushes <laughs> it's in this little like stand up tray I believe I got this from Michaels and then I got the paint brushes from Hobby Lobby. I, I think so. Or maybe I got the everything from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, it's like, I don't know how many of these are. Hold on. So it's a 12 pack, I believe, if I count it correctly. It's 12 pack of these fuchsia colored paint brushes I got from Hobby Lobby and then I got this assortment of like different colors from Hobby Lobby as well it's a lot of different colors right here and then I got these acrylic paints um I got these it's a 12 pack from Michaels okay and then I got these two like little trays so one is for like my paint so I can like mix colors if I need to and then the other one is just for like water, just so I can like clean off my brush, if that makes sense. And don't mind the dirty news. So these are my canvases. So I get these from, where did I get these from? Hold it. Okay, y'all, I got this from uh, Dollar General. I'm looking at it like, I was like, where did I get these from? And they say $3, so I know I got these from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I don't know. It's one of those. So yeah, y'all, anyways... This is the one I'm gonna be using today. Again, $3, babe. Go get you one. So this is what I'm still working on. It's just pink background and I have to go back and like level out the colors because it's kind of like, as you can see, it's kind of like, you can see the stroke marks and I need everything to be even. But anyways, that's what I'm still working on. I'm not done with that. This is another one. Oh, is this? Okay, it's upside down. <laughs> this is when I just did the other day. So, as y'all can see, it's still not finished. Y'all see what it says. But um, if you look closely, like there's it's it's still like messy, you know? Um, so I need to I just did this like literally two days ago, um, because I was bored. So this is still, you know, not done. It's still a work in progress, but I need to finish this soon. But we're starting something new today, so 
don't mind those things this is what we're working on today and i think i have an idea of what i want to paint and so then i went to um so i did go to walmart today and i got this little like paint stand like or this canvas holder or whatever so let's do an unboxing unboxing it. Um, anyway, this is what it looked like. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, so this is obviously where the canvas would go, and it's just a little holder to hold it up as I paint. Yeah, so I'm excited. Let's get into the video. Um, this is my canvas setup. This is what it looks like. Anyways, um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to draw. Hmm. I got my MacBook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to put a picture on the screen right here. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to draw today. And I think I'm going to do a different color. The loved part, I'll do in the color pink. And then the the John 316, I'll do that in black. So, Because, you know, pink is like, it's top tier. Anyway, let's get started. Um, Yeah. Okay, so... I'm gonna use this, this one, can y'all see? This is how the influencers be. <laughs> I'm using this Craft Smart Fuchsia, color Fuchsia. Yeah, that's the color Fuchsia. Anyway, that's gonna be the cro uh, the color. This is gonna be the color for like the, um, the words loved. And then the John 316, whatever. I'm going to do that verse in black and white. Amen. God is amazing. Keith Lee. All right. So. No pressure, pressure. Look, I got them blessing. Wonder why I'm feeling extra. Say what it do, what the business is. Folk run up, run over what the devil sin. Shoes, pants, chest, shoulders. Get up, off me, don't get closer. It ain't over, tell us over. Game break, big joke. It's a whole lot of flexing going on. Feel like I could walk on water, lemon pepper steppers on. We was really down bad, so my mama not for long. Held and thought they got another one, we know they got it wrong. And another thing, what I'm now we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. I was out here while ain't the same way that I was. Tapping when I pray, I'm tapping like I know the blood. Back up with the hate, respectfully, it's all in love. My hairline check, fade check, check. The only chains ain't broken is the ones that's on my neck. Check. The coldest with some boldness got me flowing with the vets. It's all there, ain't no need to second guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. No pressure, pressure. Look, I got them blessing. Wonder why I'm feeling extra. Say what it do, what the business is. Folk run up, run it over with the devil sin. Shoes, pants, chest, shoulders. Get up, off me, don't get closer. It ain't over, tell us over. Game, break, big jump. Jesus, like, don't trip. Finna make the boat tip. Set the tone with that ice cold, but I won't slip. In my back, like, away. in my back, like, road trip. Switch dance, do my dance. Dog, he really don't miss. Don't miss. I don't need a crystal less it's hot sauce, brother. I ain't gotta sell my soul just to pop off, brother Ain't no demon time when you anoint it I keep it regal like movies and hop out like I'm getting dropped off, brother Fall smelling brand new
move. It's later on in the day and I'm just still finishing up this painting. Um, I have it in my lap now because <laughs> um, I'm doing some like correction because I kind of messed up like a few things as I was painting. I kind of, I don't know. I just wanted it to be more precise and sharp, the outlines and stuff. So I'm just taking the time to do that. But I figured like, you know, why not talk and take this time to like do a little chit chat, whatever. But yeah, um, so like, I just want to talk about like what I've been dealing with and just thinking like just my thoughts about like life right now and where I'm at. Basically right now, I feel like I'm really in this state where I'm like, I'm just really opening my eyes and about like when it comes to just distractions, like just all types of distractions, all types of just nonsense in this world. I know for me lately, I've been really engulfed in like my phone, really engulfed and just hooked to my phone, like addicted to my phone, to social media, to just being up there and scrolling, scrolling on TikTok for hours, um, scrolling on Instagram reels or watching like YouTube videos or whatever. And don't get me wrong, I do believe that social media can be very useful, uh, very beneficial for a multitude of reasons, of course, but I definitely think just as anything um, can have its good, like a good side or whatever, there can also be bad sides or negative effects to like too much of something. Even when it comes to like social media or just entertainment in general, like I know that's my weakness or whatever, because that's usually what I go to when I'm bored and when I just want some sense of like to escape reality, I guess. And so I noticed that like God's like really been putting on my heart to like get off social media and just kind of like not really like obviously I'm idolizing right now and I, I get that. Um and I'm aware of that. But it's like I don't know. I just know that it's a certain like dopamine hit that you get from like scrolling on TikTok, just scrolling endless amount of videos or endless amount of like reels or just when you're on social media or when you're on YouTube or whatever, like it's just a dopamine hit it's type of hormone that just releases when you're like scrolling on social media or you're watching some your favorite, like you're binge watching your favorite show or whatever. And that's been really hard. This has been something, just being honest, that's been really hard for me to let go of. <laughs> really hard for me to kind of like just break free from that. So that's why like one, I'm doing this video, like I'm painting because I know it's hard for me to like just do things that I find like boring or just kind of sit in stillness, just get off my phone, get off like basically having the ability to enjoy like real life, like off of my phone. And so that's why I'm really trying to incorporate more like healthy habits and more healthy hobbies and stuff in my life where I can like do it, enjoy it, where God can still be in it. And then it's like, it's not necessarily me just distracting myself. Like this is even just doing art, like people can be like, oh, like that's useless. Or, you know, I'm not saying like I'm a, like I'm a famous artist or anything. Like I'm really not. I just do this because I really enjoy it. It's something fun to me. And I just enjoy painting and drawing and stuff like that. But this helps me like, this helps me in skill wise. Like this helps me like the more I paint, the more I'm obviously going to get better at it. And so this is actually like a helpful skill. Like I feel like I can replace social media, scrolling on social media, scrolling on TikTok with this or scrolling on social media for like reading more books on social media less, be outside more, go on more walks. Um, like skateboard more, go my like ride my bike around, just stuff I used to do as a kid where you know it was really fun to be outside. It was fun to play with other people, but now it's like man, everybody's being social, but they're being social only online. Like there's not much social interaction going on like in person anymore, and um, that can be kind of like I don't know, it'd be kind of weird. I'm just trying to like go to the gym more. I'm just trying to basically live in the moment. I'm trying to enjoy life. I'm trying to enjoy being in the present moment more and just basically taking more, being more disciplined with like the time I'm giving on this earth because we all have a set time where we're going to be here. Then there's a time where we're going to pass away. And it's just like, 
I don't want to be um, on my phone all the time feeling like I have to be because I'm bored scrolling, 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 scrolling. But at the same time, I'm like, bro, it's tiring. It's boring. Even that can be boring sometimes. Even that, like, I just be open my phone. I'll go to one app. Then I'll go out of the app. Then I'll go to another app. It's just like, I like, it's like when you open the fridge and you're looking for some, like, something to eat and you, there's food in there. But it's like, you close it back and then you open it again and you're like... And you close it back and you open it again. It's like that. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but that's what it's giving me. It's like, there's nothing appealing to me right now. Like, it's nothing appealing to me on my phone right now. And don't get me wrong. Like, social media is really a great inspiration for me right now, especially with my brand coming up. But, like, I wasted, like, think, like, I'm really sitting here thinking about how many hours, how many days have gone by where I've just mindlessly scrolled on that app just wasting my time where i could have been doing something more beneficial i could have been reading my bible where i could have been praying where i could have been painting where i could have been in the gym where i could have been spending time with my nephew and my family like i don't know it's just like again i'm not saying i'm going to give up social media but i do realize that i'm i'm not properly balancing social media or my phone or just managing it in the way i should because it's obviously like it has me in bondage like it has me in this form of like where I'm really addicted to it I'm an addict I'm addicted to like the dopamine hit that I get from scrolling on social media that I get from watching entertainment that I get from playing video games like and obviously I'm really trying my best to like <sighs> give it up because um I'm telling you like God just don't be playing with his kids like he do not be playing by his children and it's just like man I know that me personally, me moving forward into this next season of my life, like I need to be able to like have no idols, like no, no matter what it is. And so this is like one of those things where it's really hard for me to like kind of give it up. But anything's possible with Christ. Um, I've given up a lot of other things because of the Holy Spirit, because of God's strength in me, like Jesus' strength in me. So like, I know this is something that I'm definitely possible, I'm definitely capable, excuse me, of doing because like, I have God, like he can help me. It's just a matter of like, actually doing. <laughs> it's just a matter of like me, like staying consistent with it. Cause I could start, like I could do a whole week without no social media, but then like, it's just be that next week, and I'm just up there for the whole day. Like, it's just, I don't know. So, I just have a problem with being inconsistent sometimes. Because I can start something and then just, like, forget about it in the end, whatever. Like, even with those paintings, like I was showing y'all earlier. Like, I started them, but I didn't even finish it. I'm on a whole new painting. Like, why did I do that? But it's just, like, I don't know. Like, y'all, uh, somebody help me. <laughs> like, I don't get that. But, anyway, I was really thinking about, like, man, like... I feel like that's a tactic of like the enemy to just make us like they like boredom is just seen as like a negative thing and even me I can tend to like look at boredom as a negative thing like uh like I don't want to be bored I don't want to sit around and do nothing but when we're in that stillness when we're in that boredom state of like just there's nothing to distract us there's no there's not too much noise going around us that's when we're really able to like tune into the voice of God and really be led and direct it into like what he wants us to do or just being able to just spend time with God just spend time with the Heavenly Father because that's so vital like and just spending time with others spending time with your family spending time with your friends community spending time with yourself like spending time in solitude is good like don't get me wrong it's good to spend time with other people with family and stuff like that but obviously make sure like you're you're okay with being by yourself you're okay with being alone like spending time getting to know yourself and just like I said, like even me, like right now, like I'm getting, I'm spending time with myself by doing something I enjoy, which is my art, which is painting. And I love it. Like I enjoy my own solitude and just chilling and painting and vibing out. Like this is the vibe to me. This is something that I really enjoy. And um, it's giving me an opportunity to like really learn more about myself. Like I'm very like, a prof like I've learned just from doing this that I'm inconsistent, but like I'm also a perfectionist because this is not turning out the way I, I really wanted it to. <laughs> and I was having second thoughts about like, should I post this? But even that is like a perfectionism like mindset because it didn't necessarily turn out 
like perfect in my eyes like it's not turning out the way i wish it like did but that would cause me to like delete the whole video and be like okay like nobody has to see this but i think i'm still posting this because like why not like i mean i never claimed to be this famous art artist i'm saying this ain't the mona lisa but i'm i'm gonna just i can't wait to show y'all the finished result um <laughs> but yeah that's just what's going on with me and that's something that i feel like you know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with, I'm thinking about just boredom, how like boredom is deemed as negative, yet that's where God wants us to be. He wants us to be bored. He wants us to not be preoccupied by everything in the world. Like he does not want us to be preoccupied by every little thing that's going on and like trying to just fill up space. Like, no, there's times where we have to sit in silence. There's times where we have to be bored. We have to sit in stillness, in quietness. And turn all the volume down so we could turn his volume up, right? And it's just like, when do we take the opportunity to do that? Because me personally, like, I want to start doing that a lot more in the mornings. And just obviously anytime throughout my day. But especially in the morning when I first wake up, I want to have my mindset on God. I want to put my full armor of God on and stuff like that. And so that's just something I've been thinking about. And Or what? Conversation. I just want to have this conversation with y'all. If y'all want to comment anything back in the comments but yeah anyways i'm almost done with this because at this point but i can't wait to show y'all the finished result yeah yeah like i can't really scroll on like youtube and just try to find like a video like an entertaining video to watch and it's just like uh like everything is just it's just not appealing and I'm actually grateful for that because it's like, man, I have to learn how to like discipline myself. Um, you know, and discipline is like, obviously it's something you do regardless of how you feel. It's not based off your feelings, but you do it because you need to get it done. And so I just know like, I really, get, I really need to get better at my discipline when it comes to like, just discipline and patience, discipline and self-control, discipline and stillness you know like being consistent and so even this youtube channel like like this is probably like my third video i posted within like the last few months or whatever or like last few weeks and so i really do plan to be very consistent with this channel from here on out y'all can hold me accountable <laughs> y'all can hold me accountable but i do plan to be consistent one because this is something guys call me to do i want to steward like what he's given me like steward it well honestly i think it's like really when like the more you spend time doing something the more you're going to grow an appetite and hunger for that thing so it's like the more you spend time um on social media or just engulfing like tiktok videos the more you're going to get addicted and hooked to it the more you spend time you know just i don't know the more you spend time watching YouTube videos, you're gonna get, you're gonna just wanna continue to do in that. You're gonna grow an appetite and hunger for it. The more you continue to watch and play video games, the more you're just gonna wanna continue to do that and grow like a, an appetite and an appreciation for that thing. And then same thing with God, like the more you just spend time with him, the more you're gonna grow an appetite and hunger for him. Hey y'all, so it's later and one of my lights like died or whatever. So I'll stop recording, but I finished my painting and I'll show y'all in a second. But basically what I was saying was, long story short, I'm just basically trying to replace like bad habits with better habits, healthier habits. So like things that'll help me be more like present in the moment and just like off my phone or just, I don't know, help me to just be more intentional with my time like on earth and stuff because just scrolling like mindlessly and stuff like that and just a way to get some type of like instant gratification or just some type of like entertainment getting something out of social media wherever it be just to even just get your mind off like whatever you're dealing with i mean sometimes it can just lead to like this huge addiction where you like you feel like you can't live without it and you can't put your phone down or you just can't like say no you don't have self like much self-control so yeah i probably just fast from it and just probably sacrifice it and just kind of take some time away but yeah y'all anyways i'm doing my painting 
Um, I know y'all excited to see the final results. I feel like it could have looked better, but I don't know. It could have looked better, but this is the finished product, y'all. Um, like I said, I feel like it could have been better or whatever, but anyways, I might flip, I'm gonna have to flip this. Hold up. But yeah, y'all, that's the finished product. Um, if I get closer, y'all can see, like, more of the mistakes. Like, I don't know. But from right here, they're pretty good. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, basically, I'm going to put the side by side. Hold up. You feel me? So, you know, I didn't do it, like, bar for bar. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? There's obviously some things about it that don't look exactly like the picture but you know the picture was just inspiration you feel me so you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tweak mine when it comes to me i'm gonna do a little tweak tweak you feel me like i ain't gonna do exactly like how the picture is because you know what i'm saying like i really want to do it different you know what i'm saying so i don't let me put some lip gloss on because lips is drier than the sahara desert <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Not too much in the comments. <laughs> Y'all, but anyways, yeah, when it comes to, like, my little art and whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a little tweak tweak, so it's not going to look exactly like the picture. Unless, like, that was what I was going for. But this here, that's not what I was going for. Because, you know, I even did a different color and everything. And then I add a little, the little stars or whatever around it. But anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and my little rant. I'm thinking about making this a series because I'm going to be painting anyway, um, just more in general now. So sometimes I'll probably record me painting. I might even just show y'all like how I finished those other paintings I showed y'all at the beginning of the episode. Like I might show like, I might do episode two or three and I might just show me like finishing those paintings or something i don't know but i might end this up on my wall or something i don't know where should this go where should this go y'all in my room <laughs> i'm asking y'all like y'all live here anyway um i'm about to end this video so thank you for what so thank y'all so much for watching I got my little slippies on. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Hold on. This angle's not good. Like, but yeah. Yeah, like I just said. Um, yeah. Like I just said, thank y'all for watching this video. And thank you for listening to my little rant or whatever. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all want to see this as a series or whatever. Um, if not, then I'm still making a series. <laughs> Because it's my channel. Hello. And you're watching Shayna's channel. Do -do 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 -do. That's how it's done. Okay. Anyways, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to see y'all later because at this point, I'm prolonging the ending. So, bye.